Hey Jaco, do you want to easily get that film look that you want? Well, if you do, then the answer might be for you. And they've just added a new tool, Overscan. Now you can't get it in one of the separate tools, as far as I see, so if you want it, you'll have to buy the pro version. But you do have the trial to try it out. And if you want to get 10% off, you can use JD Hands 10 to get a 10% discount. Now I have previously made video on the Hansry and all of the tools, but this time I'll just focus on the new one. So type in the Hands, go to Open Effects and apply it to video clip. This is automatically applied as you saw. Now if you don't have the pro version, you will see a watermark, but you can use the trial to test it out. Now this is the overscan option. I'll simply click enable and this is what you get. You get a film strip kind of effect. So you can flip the effect. You can have a static gate. And for a smooth playback, I'll lower the resolution to half. So this is a static gate. As you can see, the video does not move. If you enable it, we have gate defocus, which defocuses the video on the edge. You can also change the scale. Then you can change the exposure, which can make the holes really pop out. Now this perforation mode is set to negative by default. You can select positive to have the white holes which is actually what I like. And if you disable them, well, you don't have any holes. Then you have the gate shape, which again is the video. Neat normal is default. You have neat sharp, neat round, or you can also disable it. And lastly, we have the gate type. You can select from one of the films and this will also change the shape of the gate. Well, shape of the gate and shape of the hole. And how the holes will be positioned. So these are the two that I like. What I miss though is that the video does not really move up and down as it should. Which I guess this gate animation simulates but I think it needs just a little bit extra to really sell the effect. What I also miss is that this should be scaled down so that the film strip holes are not as big. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, you know what to do. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm Simon and until next time, Jacko, keep it digital.